Hey, what's up, YouTube? How you doing? I uh, hope you guys are being uh, are being blessed, or doing well. I know I am. Um, this is the the mid season report. Uh, how teams are doing? How these races are shaping up? Some of the disappointments and some of the unexpected um, excitement um, for some of these teams, right? Um, exceeding expectations, right? Um, so let's break this down real quick. See if we can get through this. Um, I have the announcement at the end uh, that, that that might interest you. Um, let's start with the AFC, okay? AFC East. So the eyeball test tells you that um, the Bills are head over heels, uh, the best in this division, right? Uh, they're only one game ahead of the Patriots, and the Patriots are a very consistent team, right? Uh, if the Bills plan on uh, winning this division, they're going to have to remain remain focused, right? Uh, I think they have a, a much better team, and I think that, you know, they are clearly the best in the division. But they are one game ahead, and that's in the loss column. They Both of these teams, New England and the Bills, have five wins, right? Um, those games, like the, the game like with the, the Jaguars, you can't have those type of games if you plan on wrapping up this division. Um, New England is pretty steady, man. They are just even killed. They don't know up and downs. They are what they are, and um, they win with the tried and true formula. Play good defense and run the ball, right? Uh, they're just hoping their quarterback don't screw it up. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So um, with that formula, you... If you plan on putting them away and winning the division, you have to be more consistent, right? And it's only one game, one hiccup, but you can't afford too many of those. Or you're going to find yourself in a true, true battle down the stretch. So I think Bills are the uh, cream of the crop. Uh, we'll see uh, how well they uh, play down the stretch. New England, I think, is going to uh, 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 you know, just be there, right? They're going to put pressure on them. And because of some of these other teams that I think are um, in these other division races, New England might be fighting for a playoff spot and still be a very consistent team. Uh, that's just how competitive I think the AFC is going to be. Um, you have to be disappointed with Miami. Um, you know, I think Miami fans probably had high expectations for this team this year, and uh, they're just proving that they are a lot of they're a long way away. And they, are, they have a lot of pieces they need. Um, they have to fix this puzzle because it's truly a puzzle. It's 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 amazing <laughs> how they're playing. I just I'm just amazed by how they're playing. But we'll see what happens down the road. I think you know I don't think they should be talking about changing their coach. I think their coach is is um, is can put it together for them. But you just have you have to put a you know you need more weapons and you need a, a, a more um, a better defensive scheme, right? More talent on that defense and put together a better scheme because what you have right now is not really working, okay? Uh, the Jets, hey, the Jets are the Jets right now. They um, could make things interesting from time to time, but they are, I, I think, in quite a few years away from being competitive you know, if they can uh, uh, go in the right direction. But uh, they are, I think they are far away. Um, the North, the AFC North is extremely competitive. Every team in this division has an opportunity to win. Um, the Ravens sit on the top of the division with six wins. They're six and three, but they're on a game behind the seller, and that's um, Cincinnati Bengals, right? Cincinnati Bengals sit in at five and four, only one game back. Um, and they have the most wins in in the in division, right? They have two wins in the division. Uh, so this is a wide open race. I still think the Steelers are going to take a step back, um, but you never know, man. You never know. Um, I just don't see them maintaining this 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 type of focus. I think they're going to take a step back, but who knows? I see it as a team, a three-team race, um, but nothing would shock me. <laughs> nothing would shock me at all. I'm going to pick the Ravens. I think the Ravens are the best team, but 
There is no guarantees in this division. Anything can go, okay? Very, very competitive. I think one of the best, one of the most competitive uh, in the league as far as the whole division, right? There's one other one I'm going to talk about, but in the whole division, any one of those teams could win it. Um, the South, um, the Titans, I think, are just a better team in the South. Um, the Texans and the Jaguars are just struggling to, you know, find some type of direction to go into. Um, I think the Jaguars have a, a little bit better uh, outlook for the future, but um, they're still trying to find their way also. The Colts, um, I think they are a little disappointed in, in themselves. They have to be a little disappointed in themselves. I think they wanted to compete a little bit better, and they're three games out, right? At this point, um, very little uh, room for error, right, going down the stretch, going on the second half. There's a lot of you know, there's a lot of pressure on this team week to week to get victories, because I don't think the Titans are really going anywhere. I think that they are uh, have you know stated that they are the best in the division. Uh, even with Henry out, they still this defense is really uh, carrying this team, and the offense is just not screwing it up. And I think with Henry not being out, I mean, with Henry being out. We thought that might be they might take a step back, but um, they have shown, man, we we are we are here to stay, right? And so um, I think that they're going to win this division, um, and I think the coach is going to the coach are going to be hard pressed to try to keep up, try to keep pace, and uh, they're just you know I don't think they can really overtake them. They have to hope uh, uh, um, that the, the Titans um, collapse. That's what that's that's their only chance in my eyes. They have to hope that they collapse because I don't think they have the talent to really overcome them, right? So um, I think the South is pretty secure with the Titans. Um, the South, I mean the West. The West, I really want to say it's a three-man race, three-team race. I think the Broncos are going to fade away, um, but you never know. But I just don't see them really down the stretch being truly competitive. You know, that's just the way I see it. Um, you thought that the Chiefs was the cream of the crop. Everybody's chasing the Chiefs. Well, that's not the case. Um, the Chiefs are in a, the Chiefs are in a fight, right? They're in a fight for this division. Um, the Chargers are playing well, um, and they have uh, they are two and zero in in division, right? Um, it's basically you know I mean every team in this division has five wins. You know what I'm saying? So there's very little room for error uh, in here. There's a lot of teams, uh, a lot of in-game, in-division games got to be played. So there's going to be some movement with that, right? Um, can the Raiders maintain uh, focus despite all the distractions? That's that. That's the biggest question, right? I think, you know, you know the Raiders are my team, and I have a little insight because um, I follow them very closely. Um, they're determined, right? Um, to to overcome these distractions, but your determination and, and what actually occurs is two different things. You could want it real bad, but you gotta you gotta prove you're capable of doing it, right? And this this game Sunday is going to be a big indicator of, uh, of of what the future holds, right? Um, Deshaun is going to play, which I, I'm very happy to see. Um, one thing about this this uh, team, the defense have been consistent. And they have constantly get, gotten better over the year. If that trend continues, um, that's going to be a great sign, right? The offense, um, you're, you're very not very inconsistent, but you have some you have some hiccups, and you have to become more consistent. And I know the you know absence of rugs is uh, you know something that you have to consider, right? Now you have Deshaun. Now that is a plug and play because. You know, this is not Madden. You just don't plop another player in there and it's just all good, right? There have to be some chemistry built, right? You just It's not plug-and-play type system. So, although Deshaun is a veteran, I think he's going to do well. Um, what I think and what they do is two different things, right? Um, one good thing I'm encouraged with watching the film is that our running game, I think, is going to start turning the corner. 
And one of the key points to this running game is not just the running backs and them identifying holes and this and that, you know, things like that. We have, I think we have, we have, I think we have picked up um, the answer at our right guard position. Leatherwood struggled when he played tackle. When he played tackle, uh, he really, really struggled out there. Um, now that they moved him inside and he's playing guard, right guard, I think that's going to be the answer for us. He's played some very, very good games here recently. So if that continues and we get that running, that running game going, it's going to open up a lot of things in this offense, right? Uh, early in the season, uh, because of our outside weapons, I thought we worked from the outside, working in. Now, because we have question marks on the outside and we're starting to see some uh, traction in this running game, they need to work from the inside running game outward. Right, so um, you have to hey, you have to work with what you got, okay, um, and you have to be fluid. You know, the what you may have wanted or desired at the beginning of the season, it changes with injuries and things of this nature. So, uh, for the Raiders to maintain um, this push and to keep up with, I think the other two teams, I, I really think Denver is gonna is gonna back up. I, I, I that's what I feel. I think they're gonna fall back. But um, to keep up with the Chargers and keep up with the Chiefs, you're going to have to um, be fluent and, and change um, your game plan going into uh, the second half of the year, okay? Um, it's hard to pick. I I'm not going to pick who's going to win the division. I just feel like it's going to be interesting, and I think it's a three-team race. That's, that's what I'll say about that. Going into the AFC. So the Cowboys, the AFC East, the Cowboys, I think, are head, or, head over heels the best in this division, right? Um, they have two wins in the division already. There are four games up on both the um, the Eagles and the Giants, right? And um, they just can't have um, horrible games like they did against the Broncos. Um, they obviously didn't hear the alarm. They hit that snooze button too many times, and they just sleepwalked through that game last week. Uh, they were lucky to even get any points. They, you know, really should have got shut out, right? You can't have those type of games. You have a good cushion, right? You have a very good cushion. You have a four-game cushion. You can collapse. Um, Eagles are not going anywhere. Eagles have shown that they're going to be competitive all year. They're not going anywhere, right? Um, the Giants... I mean, I don't feel, you know, very good about the Giants' prospects this year, but um, still, they're sitting there two at three and three and six. Um, they are four games back, but I think the prospects of them making a big push, I think, are not as big as the Eagles. I think the Eagles, if Cowboys, if you fall back and you str start to struggle, uh, the Eagles might just push you. And then once that adversity starts hitting you, you never know how you respond. So you better remain focused. Now, we know Thanksgiving, right, you're going to have an issue with the Raiders. Raiders coming into town, and you're going to get that L. We all know that, right? But beyond that, you have to re remain focused on these other games, okay? Um, you know, Thanksgiving, you're getting an L. So, you know, just accept that and just move on with these other games, okay? I said that with a straight face. I'm so proud of myself. I meant it. I said it with a straight face, no clowning, no nothing else. Good for Ray to care. Um, the North. So, unfortunately, because <laughs> I really want Aaron Rodgers, I don't want him to get hurt, but like I said in my other video, I want his feelings hurt, okay? I hate this honesty, right? I hate when you try to deceive people and you get away with it. If you deceive people, you take your, you, you take your shot and you get caught. Hey, you took your shot. All right. I ain't going to be mad at you, but I'm going to say, hey, you took your shot. You got caught. Live with it. Right. When you take a shot and, and you, you know, are, you know, de deceptive, deceiving people and you get away with it. Man, I hate that, man. Even when and they identify you, you, you took your shot and you was being deceitful, uh, not deceiver, deceptive. Right. And you still get away with it. That's what burns me up. That's why I want his feelings hurt, right? But the Vikings got to learn to win games. The Vikings are a very talented team. Very, very talented. 
They just don't know how to win. Last week when they played the Ravens, I think they were clearly, the, the eyeballs told you they were clearly the best team. When you look at the scoreboard, the eyeballs told you they don't know how to win. <laughs> okay? That's just how it is, right? So the Packers, I think, have a stronghold on this division. Um, like I talked about the Colts, um, the Vikings are in that same position. From here on out, right, there's no room for error. There's no room for error. You are, what, three games back, and it's going to be hard to catch up, right? You have to maintain your focus. You have to learn to win these games, right? Being talented and, and showing that you are the best team on the, on the field isn't enough. At the end of the day, you have to have more points at the end of the day, at the end of the game, than your opponent. That's what's required. <laughs> and if you, do, if you don't do that, I can say, hey, uh, uh, Vikings look really good, but they lost. <laughs> I can say that all day, right? Uh, you want to avoid that. You want to avoid just looking good. You want to get wins. So if you want to maintain um, uh, the opportunity, you have to learn to win these games. If you want to help Brady Cav get his uh, uh, wish and, and have Aaron Rodgers' feelings hurt, you have to maintain your focus, purple people eaters, whatever you want to call yourself. Right? So um, the, the, the rest of the division, the Bears, feel good about what you have, man. You have identified you have a, a starting quarterback, a franchise quarterback. If he remains healthy, his progression has been very, very steady and very good this season. I think the things you need to see, you are seeing. And um, just build around him. I think, you know, I think this year is, you know, you, you're pretty much done, right? But I think your future uh, is bright. You have to maintain focus. You have to uh, build around this guy. Fields, I think, is your answer. Build around him, okay? Um, Lions, man, you just, I don't know, man. I don't know what to say about you. You haven't won a game yet. Um, have some pride about yourself, man. Um, you have to do something, you know. Um, win a game. That's all I can tell you. Win a game. Try to find a win. Find a win. We're winning the game. Okay, the South. So, I think this is going to be another two-team race. Um, I think the Panthers are are going to take a step back. Um, they picked up Cam. I don't know when he's going to get some playing time. Um, I don't even know if he's going to be the starter. They haven't really identified that uh, as far as I know, right? Uh, but you have to think, you know, he's going to be a starter at some point. Uh, you got McCaffrey back. Um, your defense is playing decent at times, right? Um, but I think you're going to struggle. There's a lot of good teams ahead of you. And, you, you know, you're three games back from the, uh, from the Buccaneers. And um, the Buccaneers are going to be fighting for the division because the Saints are not going anywhere. I think the Saints are going to want to push them all year. So they have to maintain their focus. So if they maintain their focus, it's going to be very hard for the Carolina Panthers to catch them. That's what I'm trying to say. Okay? So I think Carolina is probably, you know, out of it. Um, ATL, you mathematically are still in it. Mathematically, you have a shot, right? Um, but uh, I'm not good at math, so my math may be really off. <laughs> you may not have no shot. <laughs> we'll see. But um, you have some excitement. You you got four wins. Um, you're four and four. Uh, you still have quite a few games in the division, like everyone does. Everyone hasn't. You know, everyone has an opportunity to make some uh, make some hay, so to speak, uh, in divisions because they they loaded the front end of this year with a lot of um, in uh, uh, how do you say that cross division games is that proper? I'm not sure, but in division games, no one has more than maybe three, you know, and you have you know you have seven, right? So. Um, you still have time to make some, you know, make some movement in, in division, right? 
So ATL, can you make a push? Surely you can. I don't think you will, because I don't think you have the defense to do it, right? Um, and your offense is very sp sporadic. So uh, I think you're gonna fall back too. I think basically this is a two-team race. Uh, Saints, defense, 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 defense. You have to focus on your defense. And you just hope that Stanton could could uh, get some chemistry with these wide receivers and and, um, and and help get you some wins. Your running game, I think, is going to be consistent with uh, the added of Ingram. Uh, I think Kamara is out this week, but I don't think his injury is long term. I think it's just a, uh, a nagging thing. Um, so, if you can maintain a decent running game and get you know get some chemistry with this passing game, I think you can make a push. But it's going to come from your defensive side of the ball. Your defense have to play well if you have any chance of catching on, on Tampa Bay. Um, I think you're a playoff team, right? But um, those things have to be identified, uh, not identified, but uh, correct, not corrected. That's a bad word too. Um, focused on, right? Your defense has to be a big focus. Um, you know, with this offense and, and, you know, a lot of question marks with your offense, you have to be extremely consistent with your defense. That's one, that's what's going to be required from you. Tampa Bay, um, you have so many weapons on offense. Your defense has so much potential. You should pull away. But uh, I think for some reason, I think that you're going to uh, be in a fight. And uh, if you plan on winning this division, you better remain focused because I think the Saints are going to put some pressure on you. The West, um, I think I've talked about two divisions, um, the AFC uh, West and the AFC uh, North. I think that's what it is, or the South, AFC. Because divisions, these divisions are not geometrically correct, right? Um, yeah, the AFC North, all right? AFC North and the AFC West, right? Uh, I think overall are tight divisions. All four, well, you would say all eight, right, of those teams have a shot uh, winning the division. But this NFC West is the tightest two-man race there will be. This is going to be exciting. So Arizona Cardinals, I think, have shown that they are here to stay. Okay? Uh, they're 8-1. and one. And that, can you lose? Can you have the most impressive one loss team? <laughs> that loss was extremely impressive, right? This team is here to stay. Uh, of course, they want Kyler Murphy to be healthy and, and be their leader, but even with, you know, with his injuries, right? They have still maintained focus and, and, and still kept the eye on their prize, right? So they're not going anywhere. I think they're gonna be here all year and be competitive. But the Rams are putting together an all-star team. They are trying to put together a Pro Bowl team right in front of our eyes, <laughs> okay? They already had a very, very competitive team. Then you add two Pro Bowlers to their team on both sides of the field, right? Uh, Von Miller is going to play this week, and OBJ is going to play this week. I don't know how much he's going to, you know, how many plays he's going to have or what, um, um, effect he's going to have on the game, but he plans on playing, right? So you just added two pro bowlers to your roster, right? Which was already a loaded roster, <laughs> you know? So they're obviously looking to make a push. So I think this two-team race is going to be extremely exciting. I think it's going to be a great story to watch um, and see how it plays out. Man, This is that that's going to be exciting over there. Um, Seattle, uh, even though uh, uh, um, Russ is coming back this this week, they're still, you know, they, they are so far behind. And like I said, these other two teams, the Rams and the Cardinals, are pushing so hard. You know, Seattle, it's going to be hard for you to catch them, right? And uh, with other teams that are in the in the conference, it's going to be hard, for, I think, for you to even get in a playoff spot. You certainly could, but uh, it's almost like no mistakes allowed at this point, right? But uh, Seahawks, um, I don't know. You have an outside chance for the playoffs, 
but this division, I think, is a two-team race, right? Um, the 49ers. The 49ers, I think you should be very disappointed in yourself. I think at the beginning of the season, you were, you know, you had thoughts of competing. You are not very competitive in this division. You have already have you zero and three in division, right? Um, and you just don't look good. The eyeballs tell you you are not a very good team right now, right? Um, certainly, there are teams that are worse than you, right? But you have a lot of work to do. That's just the bottom line. So. That's the way I see the midway point. Uh, that's the way I see these teams. That's how I see these divisions. I think it's going to be exciting to see the second half. Um, and uh, this is uh, this. I think this is going to be um, this is going to be fun. If you're a sports fan, this is going to be fun to see how this all plays out. Okay. So another announcement I want to make. Um, I'm part of. Uh, a group um, it's uh, some podcasters, a group of podcasters, group of shows that um, you know they do different things and one of the things they do is uh, we do hip hop battles, uh, this is the first year we're doing it um, it's on Spreaker.com that's S-P-R uh, E-A-T I mean E-A-K E-R Spreaker.com right S P R E A K E R Spreaker.com. Okay. Um, look up X Squad Radio. Look for D Greatest. Gulio Radio. That's G U D I O Radio. All right. On Friday, um, that's going to be the 19th, about 8. 30. Now it's a podcast, so you can catch it. It'll be posted after the show. If you don't catch it live, you can catch it the next day or whenever. Um, but uh, eight o'clock Eastern, uh, your boy is going to be part of the hip hop show. <laughs> okay, I'm going to be battling um, this uh, other uh, great great guy, man, uh, uh, Big Illinois. Uh, he's from Chicago, and look, Big Illinois is a hip hop head, right? Um, I don't know him personally, but uh, dude is a hip hop head. He's a cool cat, cool guy. I talked to him, you know, through uh, um, uh, messaging and, and uh, in chat rooms in, in the group. And the guy is, he's a good guy. He's a hip hop head. He should be a DJ, right? But he's not. Um, so I got a challenge. Now the format, the format for this is you, you get 11 songs. All right, you get three songs from the 80s, three songs from the 90s, three songs from the 2000s, and two songs from 2010 until now, right? The thing is, now this is the fifth this is the fifth show. Every so there have been four battles, right? So all the songs that have been played in those battles are eliminated. You cannot repeat those songs, all right? Also, we submit a list to the greatest, we sent him, a, sent him a list. Any duplications of songs on our list, those songs are eliminated. Now they can be played by other people later on, but if we duplicate a song, those songs are out, and we got to replace it. So it's challenging. <laughs> You're not just picking the best songs you know in hip hop from those eras and just submitting them. There's there are other there are other challenges you have to meet. You know, you can't repeat from other battles. And if your list, if there's any songs that are duplicated when the lists are submitted, those songs are out. <laughs> so it's challenging, man. You got to, you know, you got to really think about what you're doing, right? So there have been some great battles. I suggest if you if you like hip hop and you want some entertainment, right, go check out the other shows. There have been four shows, right? Um, and you can look on the thing and see the battles or you can even look on my facebook uh page if you're a friend of me on facebook and i'll put my facebook um link in in the, in the description and um it there's been some great battles some very very good battles man last week was was very nice i mean look we had one that was kind of iffy right but but even that one was good even that one was good right but we've had three tremendous battles, <laughs> okay? So 
what I'm looking for, I'm looking for the win. Big Illinois, I'm coming after you, bro. I'm coming after you, right? But I just I just wanted to be entertaining. I think the bigger picture here is entertaining and just giving the people a show, right? Uh, you're competitive. I'm, I'm, I'm competitive like anybody else, if not more, right? I want the win, and I'm shooting for a win. I've submitted my list. I haven't got uh, an answer back if I got to revise it. I know I don't have any duplicates from last uh, last shows, the first four shows, but have me and Big Illinois sent in um, duplicate songs. We don't know, right? Uh, we still got to wait and see. But uh, I'm excited, and I'm looking for a win. But my bigger picture is putting on a great show. So, guys, come on in. It's this Thursday, the 19th. So this is, um, in case this is this film, I mean, this, this video is viewed later on. This is um, November. It's going to be November the 19th. That's a Friday, okay? Uh, come check it out. I hope you enjoy it. Like I said, I'm going to put the description in the, uh, in the, in the link put a link for the uh, show. If you follow me on Facebook, on Twitter, you uh, I'll, I'll, whenever the poster comes out, uh, the flyer comes out, I'll, I'll share that with you so you can come check it out. So I look forward to that, man. I'm really excited about that. I'm extremely excited. I can't wait, man. So um, guys, like I always in my videos, one other thing, subscribe to the channel, guys. Hit the notification bell. Give me that thumbs up. The thumbs up really helps the channel grow. It helps uh, YouTube identify that uh, people are interested in the videos. So hit that thumbs up for me if you don't mind. Let's help this algorithm and uh, let's let's get let's grow this thing. So listen, man. Like always in my videos, man. Take care of each other. Love each other. Right. And guys, be blessed. Ready, Kev is out. Peace.